Good morning students. Welcome to the chemistry class. Today we are going to study practical chemistry. The objectives of today's topic are recognition and identification of gases, identification of ions. Let's start with hydrogen. When active metal reacts with dilute acid, salt and hydrogen gas is produced. For example, in this reaction, magnesium reacts with aqueous sulfuric acid to produce magnesium sulfate and hydrogen gas. Formation of hydrogen gas confirms the presence of hydrogen ion. Further, this gas is colorless, odorless and neutral to litmus. It burns with a pale blue flame and a pop sound is produced when a burning taper is brought near it. Next is oxygen gas. It is formed on heating higher metallic oxides or metal nitrates. For example, in this reaction, mercuric oxide on heating produces mercury and oxygen gas. Here, copper nitrate on heating produces copper oxide, nitrogen dioxide and oxygen gas. Formation of oxygen gas confirms the presence of oxide ion. Talking about more properties, it is colorless, odorless and neutral to litmus. It rekindles a glowing splinter and turns pyrogalol solution brown. Next is water vapor. It is formed on heating a crystalline substance. For example, here on heating hydrated copper sulfate, anhydrous copper sulfate and water vapor are formed. It is colorless, odorless and neutral to litmus. It turns anhydrous copper sulfate from white to blue. It also turns blue cobalt chloride paper pink. Next is chlorine gas. It is formed on adding concentrated hydrochloric acid to oxidizing agents. For example, here on adding HCl to manganese oxide, manganese chloride, water and chlorine gas is formed. Formation of chlorine gas confirms the presence of chloride ion. It is a greenish yellow colored gas with a sharp pungent chalking odor. It turns moist blue litmus paper red. It also turns moist starch iodide paper blue black and on passing the gas through silver nitrate solution a white precipitate is formed. Next is hydrogen chloride. It is formed on adding concentrated sulfuric acid to metal chlorides. For example, here sodium chloride reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid to form sodium hydrogen sulfate and hydrogen chloride gas. Formation of hydrogen chloride confirms the presence of chloride ion. It is a colorless gas with a pungent chalking odor. It is acidic in nature, turns moist blue litmus paper red. On treating it with ammonia, dense white fumes of ammonium chloride are formed. When the gas is passed through silver nitrate solution, white precipitates are formed. Next is carbon dioxide. It is formed when metal carbonates are heated to produce metal oxide and carbon dioxide. For example, in this reaction, zinc carbonate on heating produces zinc oxide and carbon dioxide gas. Formation of carbon dioxide confirms the presence of carbonate and hydrogen carbonate ions. It is a colorless and odorless gas. It turns moist blue litmus paper red. On passing the gas through lime water, it turns it milky due to the formation of calcium carbonate. Next is sulfur dioxide. It is formed when metal sulfite reacts with dilute acid to form salt, water and sulfur dioxide. For example, in this reaction, dilute hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium sulfite to produce sodium chloride, water and sulfur dioxide gas. Formation of sulfur dioxide confirms the presence of sulfite and hydrogen sulfite ions. 
It is a colorless gas with a pungent choking odor. It is acidic in nature, turns moist blue litmus paper red and finally bleaches it. It decolorizes pink potassium permanganate solution. It also changes the orange yellow solution of acidified potassium dichromate to green. Next is nitrogen dioxide. It is formed on heating heavy metal nitrates. For example, in this reaction, on heating copper nitrate, copper oxide, oxygen and nitrogen dioxide gas is formed. Formation of nitrogen dioxide confirms the presence of nitrate ion. It is a brown colored gas having an irritating pungent odor. It turns moist blue litmus paper red. It also turns starch iodide paper from colorless to blue black. It turns green acidified ferrous sulfate solution to brown. Next is hydrogen sulfide. It is formed on treating metal sulfide with dilute acid. For example, when zinc sulfide reacts with hydrochloric acid, it produces zinc chloride and hydrogen sulfide gas. Formation of hydrogen sulfide confirms the presence of sulfide ion. It is a colorless gas with a rotten egg-like smell. It turns moist blue litmus red. It turns lead acetate paper black. It also turns lead nitrate solution black due to the formation of lead sulfide. Next is ammonia. Ammonia is formed on treating ammonium salt with a base. For example, in this reaction, when sodium hydroxide reacts with ammonium chloride, sodium chloride, water and ammonia gas is formed. Formation of ammonia confirms the presence of ammonium ion. It is a colorless gas with a sharp pungent smell. It turns moist red litmus blue as it is basic in nature. It gives dense white fumes of ammonium chloride on treating with concentrated hydrochloric acid. It turns colorless Nessler's reagent brown. This is all about today's lecture. Thank you students.